Hi everyone, a little bit of a different episode today. You meet me today at the title screen, uh, as we will not actually load up the normal load game that we are playing through. Uh, the plan for today is to explore a little bit into a little bit of a improved idea when it comes to our intersections. So I'm gonna start with the four-way intersection and if not in this episode, we will continue with a three-way intersection in the next episode. So if you were not aware of how this works, uh, if you go into a new world, uh, you can select under generator, you can select grid. This will give you just a blank grid of nothing. It's just empty. Uh, and we can also make this quite a bit smaller because we don't need that, that big of a of a play space since we're only making some intersections anyway so if we go for something like 30 30 that's usually good option uh, we can go into presents and say that we want to have a sandbox and we can also make sure that everything is unlocked this makes sure that we can kind of do whatever we want uh, and there will be no costs or anything like that so we can just build whatever we want it's a sandbox functionality. Uh, of course, the game launches and runs a lot better right now than when we're in our normal game. That is always very, very thankful. I already know, of course, that we have this setup of all of our rails in the playthrough that we're doing. So I'm, of course, going to make sure that we are having the same setup when we are building these intersections. So we're going to start with the four-way intersection. Uh, I have a plan for how I want to build that. I will set up a picture right now for you to wonder while I set up the basics for this. And then let's see if we're actually able to do that. I think it should be possible. I'm 95% certain that we should be able to do something like that. So here we have a basic intersection, more or less how I uh, foresee myself being uh, this being built. Uh, the idea is in the base picture, it's only one lane that is turning off. Uh, I will have both lanes turning off. Other than that, there will be no large differences, I would say. Uh, so the easiest one that, to start with uh, it's probably these. They will just go straight over like this. That's actually way bigger than we need. I think if we keep something like 30 between these, that would be pretty good. So something like that, or maybe even here. There we have 30. So let's go with that. Uh, that is the first corner. And then we are going to have a, a identical one right here and we're gonna have one on this side as well so i hope that your weekend has been pleasant uh, i've had a really good stream last night and generally been having quite a nice weekend actually can't complain can't complain uh, the other thing that we need to do is to get these guys jumping over and the benefit of this is that we can actually uh, use these like that and that allows us to have them go something like this so that allows both of those to go in both directions which is very good uh, i wonder if we can just copy this part Lunk it down right here because they will be mirrored. So that should not be any issue. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. Uh, so that is the, the first outer ring or what you want to call it of these intersections. And then we want to have uh, the inner parts as well that will go around the whole thing because uh, this specific intersection is called a Jacksonville spiral, or I'm guessing that the intersection itself exists in Jacksonville. Uh, so we need to make that spiraling look to it. 
Uh, and all of these are going to have... Uh, let's see, we're gonna have one connecting on this side that will go over to here. So if we go you, and then you will not like that, come on. You will go around here, I'd like to have somewhat straight lines at least. Maybe I should try to keep these as close as possible to to the normal intersections. So if we try to get it to go from here, maybe and then this way to there and then up to that is very very close. But I guess that's kind of okay. We need to get a little bit more space in between here. Something like that would be the first round. And in the intersection you have this guy kind of cutting off right here. Over to the left. Uh, I'm not gonna do it that way I think. I think we will do it a little bit differently. So something like that, and then we're gonna have... Ooh, that is going to be r real tight to get to fit. Uh, how do we get this to work then? We go on the inside or we go on the outside? We're gonna have to have even one more on the inside here. That will connect here somewhere. And we're gonna have one more connecting here as well. Okay, so there we have the first loop. So these guys can now go to the right. They can also go around this and down to the... I guess it would be the left for them if we look at it from their perspective. So they can go to the right and they can go around and over to the left. Both of those are valid options. Uh, so now we just need to kind of copy this. A few times, I think. That won't be possible. We will not be able to just copy this a few times. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, let's see if we can... ...can make this work somehow anyway. So... Can we mirror this in one way? At all. Not really. Uh, we probably want to have... I wish you could remove parts of a... One of these bridges, that would be really nice. Uh, let me see, if I delete you... Then we set this guy up from here instead. Okay, so the issue I'm currently having is that it's really hard to get these guys to go somewhere. And I think what we need to do is to stop having these come off the main line. Because uh, we kind of need them to go off here instead. Which should be doable, I think, uh, if we go like that. Yeah, if we go halfway something, I think we should be able to make it to there maybe, and then down, across here, and out to the right. That... So hard to draw these guys. Uh, yeah, because now we should be able to have those two connect there, these two will connect here. And that opens up this hole 
intersection and we should also have uh, this part actually be more straight down so if we remove a U we can then take that and build U down here cross here and something like that I'm just using that as a guide it's not going to go exactly right there and again getting this to be straight is super hard I don't think this is correct either. I think we should be closer to the to the intersection here. And we go there and then go down. Yeah, I think that is probably the better option. And then this guy is going to go not there but here. There, I feel like that is pretty close to how it is. I think they have it go out further here. Uh, and probably these might be a little bit too close by. But I also don't want to make the intersection too big, so I think we're going to go with this. I think we are going to go with this. Uh, the intersection is still going to be gigantic as it is, so... So this one will probably not fit in the majority of our places and I'm probably gonna try to shrink it a little bit once we have actually built everything out. But for now, I think that this is a fairly good idea. Uh, I want to take this and if I were to say just like that, so if I were to put that right here, how would that look? Halfway decent, but we would need to get underneath there. No, we actually do need this guy to go further out here. Otherwise, he won't be able to get through all this. If we take this, we should be able to get him to go yeah because he should be the closest one to the edge here okay well then that seems seems pretty fine we'll do this copy you and let's see don't want these to be here yeah a lot of this is just trial, trial and error it feels like honestly I'm quite fine with I don't really mind that uh, I guess we can delete all of this just redo it Make sure we get it correct instead now then so we are going to have you go uh, technically you should go up a little bit first not like super much but a little bit it's so hard to go diagonal straight and if you hold Alt, it just goes straight with the whole bridge. You can't have it go straight with like the specific piece that you're building right now. Uh, so that is that and then we're gonna have a few of them go underneath there. Oh right, we're gonna have to have... So we're gonna have a bridge coming here as well, right? So we should probably have them go underneath here. No, because that guy should technically go beyond where this one goes. So something like that. And then they go down here. I think that's how we want this to work. Something like that. And then if we continue with copying. So we get these in here. 
Ooh, this might be good. We might have found a way to do this. So that's that one. This is then this one. And then we have one right here. Did we do it? You will then go under into there. And then you're gonna go... Preferably one of you should also go under here. If we do that, bring you over here. Down there. That is perfect! So we'll do that, we'll bring you guys over here into that intersection. Grab a copy of this. Phase one. Okay, this needs to be copied differently. We grab this. And then we'll just delete everything that we don't need here. So that stuff, and this, I guess we can delete a bit more. Not needed. There we have the baseline for that part. So we'll just rotate it once, place it there, rotate it again. Place it here. One more rotation. Bam. Is that everything that we needed to get into here? I think that's all. That looks kind of similar, right? Yeah. And this should be almost perfect. Okay, that's unfortunate. We can't have a direct signal on that, but that's it's fine. It's not that bad. And then outgoing, two of those, two of those. And we're gonna delete the ends on it. I'm actually quite proud of this. We're gonna put up some signals and then I think we are ready to put this into action. I think that is all of the intersections that we need to to care for. Uh, let's just set up... Oh no, we messed that up. That wasn't everywhere, right? No. How large is this intersection? It is literally 60 tiles. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit until we're actually able to utilize this consistently, I would say. But uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so there I think we have a fairly decent intersection. We could probably squeeze it together a little bit more. If you wanted to, there is quite a lot of space in the middle here that we could utilize a little bit better. But we're playing on a massive map, so we don't really have to be that careful with the amount of space anything takes. Uh, let's see if we can get a... Control S, yes. Blueprint 2. We call this four way improved. And that is going to be what it's called there as well. And we're going to save it. Superb. So, what do you think? How similar is it to the original? We had to do some adjustments just for us to be able to use both lanes without them crossing over each other. But I think in general, it's quite true to the the real-life one, right? I would say it's... It's close enough. It's close enough. It it passes the sniff tests, so to say. So, uh... Yeah, let's go into the, the actual map that we've been playing on, and let's see if we can replace any of our four-way intersection with this. 
I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are in our original playthrough that you so well remember and recognize from before. All of our nine cities that we have available, or eight maybe they are now. Immediately I learned one thing uh, that I didn't really think of when we set this up together. Of course, it is a lot bigger than our current intersection. That was to be expected. What I didn't really think of was the actual costs. It costs 1.8 million to build one of these. And it costs 6,000 steel to build one of these. <laughs> so while we have it available to us, we're gonna have to do a little bit of work before we can actually place these. But I have no doubt that they are going to be great when we get them. So yeah, that was a little bit of an overview of our current situation. Uh, I'm gonna try to get to the point where we can at least build one of them and we can see some trains going through it. I think that would be really, really fun. And uh, at the moment we don't even have enough storage to build one. So uh, I'll be back in a minute when we have enough storage and money in the bank, I guess. Well then, it took us quite a while to get to this point, but we now have 6,300 steel and we have plenty of money. Money wasn't that big an issue. Actually, the steel was kind of the problem because we're using so much tools right now that we're using up all of the steel in Dublin. So future episodes, I guess, that will be looked into. Uh, we are going to go probably from here and then we're gonna go from here and we're gonna go from uh, Might allow you to go through first Yes, and then we'll cut it off right there There we go, and then we're going to cut this away like this and yeah we're gonna set down the four way intersection that we designed and let's see how our buddies enjoy it the depot here as well which is fine we can do it like that cut these off as well don't need those And a moment of this whole episode, I guess. Uh, Four-way intersection improved. Game is not liking this, but uh, I am. This is going to be really nice. So, bang. These guys are going to go, let's see, up here. Like that. And then you are going to go around this way. And then we just make it super simple for us. Like that. Boom, boom. Get these in here. Twenty tiles between each of them. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be so fun to see. I wonder if we actually made this work or not. So, you are gonna go here somewhere, you are gonna go here somewhere, and then you guys are going to connect there. It'll be a little bit further for them to go. I could technically just cut through, maybe that's what I should do actually. Why not, right? Let's do it correctly. Let's do it correctly. So like that, and then one more right here. We haven't put down any signals yet anyway, so we might as well do it the way we're supposed to. Delete that. And that way they don't have to go all the way around this, they can just go straight. Which I think is pretty good. That's not what we wanted. And 20 points. Get to you. 20 points, this guy, 
20 points and this guy same thing 20 points okay that's already connected we just need one of these That, that guy, that guy. This should do it. And then these are going to just do that. Perfect. And they can get both in and out of that. Of course, this guy is big enough for all of our trains. Everything is connected. You might wonder what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna connect that so we don't have to have this intersection. That's my plan. So we can have the um, steel guys just go straight into here. That should work. So let's see how they do with this intersection. I think this is going to be really interesting to see. So far, so good. It is massive though, like way bigger than anything else we've built. But yeah, none of them should be impacted by each other, so they should be able to just go through this without any issue. This looks like it's flowing just fine. Uh, that intersection is not maybe the worst one that we have, uh, but as a proof of concept, I think we've proven that they can actually go from one end to the other, and that was more or less all we needed here. Uh, I think in the next episodes, we will try to change out this guy, for example, that is super busy usually. And Let's see, where do we have another one of the four-way intersections that we probably need to do something with? This guy needs some work, for sure. Uh, might even need to do something about this as well. If you have any questions in regards to this intersection, or you would like a blueprint copy or anything like that, have a look down in the comment section below. I actually have a link there for all of my save games as well as all of my blueprints. So feel free to copy and do whatever you want with that. So yeah, we have a few four-way intersections that we need to deal with. We also need to produce a three-way intersection at some point, so we can utilize those. But that's gonna be in another episode. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I sure have, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me today. Bye-bye.